map projection. Every geography student should have to practice map projections. <coughs> this map projections is the most important thing for the preparation of accurate map. Though it is very difficult <coughs> to draw map accurately because earth is three dimensional. Any part of the surface of the earth is also carved. Any small part, even any small part of the earth surface is carved. That curvature shape or carve cannot be portrayed over a two dimensional space that is map. So it is very difficult to draw map. <clears throat> no one can draw map properly or accurately because of the nature of the curvature surface of the earth. That's why map projection is very important. So what is map projection? Map projection is the systematic representation of the parallels of latitudes and meridians of longitudes of the spherical surface of the earth on a two-dimensional plane surface. That is, projecting is the science of converting the spherical earth surface to a flat plane surface. No system can do this perfectly. Some distortion will always exist. Already I have mentioned Properties that are distorted are angles, areas, directions, shapes and distance. So these are the different perspectives of map that there must be angles for the directions or for the suitable location of places, areas, shapes and distance. Each projection distorts one or more of these while maintaining others. If any projection maintains one property accurately, other properties are distorted. Selecting a projection is based on selecting which needs to be preserved. So this is the geographical coordinates, the latitude, the middle latitude is equator, that is from the north and south pole, just in the middle equator, from the equator to towards north and south there are parallels other parallels there are total 90 degree north and 90 degree south that means there are 180 parallels of latitudes uh, from 0 degree equator to 90 degree pole <clears throat> and there are also meridians uh, beside the prime meridians there are 180 degree east and 180 degree west meridians are there though 180 degrees and 180 degrees west is similar or identical, identical. So these geographical coordinates that mean latitude and longitudes are actually projected or projected on two dimensional plane surface for the purpose of drawing of maps, for the purpose of showing the distribution of different elements over the surface of the earth. So map projection is totally dependent on these two geographical coordinates. Now, Today's topic is some fundamental concepts of map projection. <clears throat> so first of all, we should know what is map projection. A map projection is a systematic representation of the parallels of latitude and 
parallel surface longitude of the spherical surface of the earth on a two dimensional plane surface <coughs> we all know that any place on the surface of the earth is curvature in nature because earth is spherical so and map is two dimensional spherical surface is three dimensional so conversion of that spherical surface to two dimensional space is very difficult that's why map projection is necessary there are different types of map projections there are different dimensions different objects different purposes based on which different techniques of projections are discovered those who practice map projections those who practice map they are known as cartographer and the branch of science which deals with the drawing of map is known as cartography with the help of map projections different types of maps distribution maps normal maps can be drawn no one can draw map properly because of this curvature or spherical nature of the surface of the earth. there are different dimensions if one dimension is maintained properly others are distorted so no system can do this perfectly some distortions will always exist properties that are distorted are angles area direction shapes and distance if one property is maintained properly another will be distorted okay so before the map projection we should know the geographical coordinates there are two types of imaginary lines that are imagined on the surface of the earth one is latitude that is parallel to the equator and another is longitude that actually starts from the north pole and ends in the south pole so the parallels are actually parallel lines and meridians are not actually parallels they are half circle and length is half of equator but all meridians are equal in length the longest parallel is the equator and away from the equator the length of parallels decreases and north and south pole is nothing but a point whatever these two imaginary lines actually determine the location of places this is this is called geographical coordinates a geographical coordinate system enables every location on earth to be specified in three coordinates latitude longitude and height it based on spherical coordinate systems coordinates are angular values actually so what is graticule i already mentioned i am giving some fundamental concepts graticule graticule is, is nothing but the network parallels network of parallels and meridians okay so these are the different types of graticules actually these are nothing but the network of parallels and meridians there are different formations different forms generating globe for the accurate drawing of map projection there are necessary of generating globes so a generating globe is the globe from which on the basis of which the projection is drawn network is drawn so generating globe is three dimensional it is actually the replica of the r okay now projection plan projection plan is actually a plane surface on which the network of parallels are and meridian that is the graticules are projected so it is kept on certain places of the globe there are also different types of projection so on the basis of projection plan these are different shapes that is actually the plane surface this is that is conical that means conical shape is placed over the globe or that globe is placed within the 
cone or conical shape and that is cylindrical okay now what are the different classes of projections there are different basis of map projections so uh, the, there are two type of criteria extrinsic that is the outer characteristics and intrinsic inner characteristics extrinsic criteria are again that is datum surface classes directors spherical projection gravel or spherical projection and triple projection plane or surface of projection on the basis of that first order plan planar conical and cylindrical second order aspect that is tangent second and poly superficial third order cases that is normal transverse and oblique now method of projection on the basis of methods there are perspectives semi perspective non perspective and conventional i am i am coming into details of this section and on the basis of the actual criteria of intrinsic one projection is divided in these five types that is azimuthal azimuthal means we maintain the direction equidistant that maintains the distance equivalent or aphylactic or homologic or homo homolographic that actually maintain the area orthomorphic or conformal that actually maintain the shape and the aphylactic uh, these five four main properties are not maintained in aphylactic projection okay now developable surface what is developable surface developable surface means the place or the shape within which the globe is placed so here the globe is placed within a cylinder that projection is called cylindrical projection in in the type of b all are placed all globes are placed within the cone that is why it is called equal projection and when the conical shape is developed such type of cone is also emerged there is zenithal group of projections when the projection plane is tipped on zenith or top okay in that case the projection always looks like a circular shape now one basic thing in is standard parallel standard parallel is mainly applicable in conical group of projection so in conical group of projection a simple right circular cone is supposed to touch the generating globe and that generating generating uh, globe is placed within the cone normally a cone side of the cone is plane but this is three dimensional that's why along a particular line or along a particular parallels of latitude that cone is supposed to touch that particular parallels of latitude is known as standard parallel sometimes double standard parallel that means standard parallel 1 standard parallel 2 or like simple conical projection with two standard parallel the cone is supposed to intersect or penetrate the generating globe that's why that straight line will intersect two places of the generating globe and that two places is not are nothing but two different parallel of latitude or parallel so on the basis of these there are two parallels that two parallels are actually called standard parallel so the basic difference between these two is in the first case the cone is supposed to touch along a single point because the cone is not penetrated the generating globe but here it penetrates the generating globe that's why there are two separate
here is tangent second okay so there are different types of standard parallel now variables of map projection so on the basis of light source there are three types of map projections mnemonic stereographic and orthographic projection oriented aspect on the basis of orientation there are transverse oblique and normal okay what is transverse transverse means means that is not oblique or normal and projection surface on the basis of surface there is plane surface there is cylindrical cylindrical surface and then cone okay so so these are three dimensions of common dimensions of map projection now what is azimuthal group of projection the projection which bears the or maintains the direction properly they are azimuthal group of projection okay like polar mnemonic projection distance is direction is maintained properly by means of bearing or angle so these are azimuthal projection now equidistant projection some projections maintain the distance true distance that means distance on globe and distance and projection remain same such projection is called equidistant projection Polar equidistant project is one type of such projection. Orthomorphic projection, when projections maintain the shape properly, they are called orthomorphic projection. So, orthomorphism means shape is maintained properly. Equal area, when projection maintain the area properly, like Cylindrical equal area projection. This one is very simple projection, very common projection. Where a cylinder, cylinder is supposed to touch the generating globe, but to keep equal area, the reflection of light is abstracted here and drawn like this. Thus, it maintains the area because if you look this in the globe the meridians touch meridians coincide in northern and southern hemisphere but in this projection the meridians are not coinciding rather they are parallel to each other but in normal practice or in normal conditions the parallels are the parallels are parallels here but and the parallels line of parallels reduces length of parallel reduces towards the pole and that pole it is nothing but a point but in, in this projection the parallels are also equal to the all parallels are equal thus is it maintains the area properly okay that's why it is called equal area projection maintaining equal area like this aspects of projection that is perspective there are on the basis of perspectives perspective per, perspective projections where there are there are source of lights or definite geo, uh, geometric shapes that group is perspective projection there are also semi perspective projections where both are there some perspective concepts like light coming from the source and it reflects proper, properly that is the perspective characteristic but and some are maintained by manually that is semi perspective projection some projections are non perspective they do not maintain the concept of light, source of light, tangent, etc., etc., and some are conventional group of projection. So this is perspective. Perspective projection is again three types. Mnemonic, when the source of light of projection lies in the center of the globe, it is called 
mnemonic projection. If the source of light lies opposite to the tangent, here it is tangent, but source of light lies opposite to the tangent, that means opposite to the globe, opposite to the position of the tangent, that is the stereographic projection. And when source of, there is no definite source of light, rather source of light considers at the infinite distance, this is called orthographic projection. Okay. Uh, this is on semi-perspective projections. Already I have mentioned that the property of equal area is maintained here by the by means of the parallels are all parallels are equal, but all meridians are here all meridians are parallel. So thus the area is remains same. This is done for the purpose of maintaining its nature of semi-perspectivism. Non-perspective when projection is done in accordance to a consistent mathematical principle to satisfy it, satisfy certain objectives like Molloy's projection, Cassini's projection, etc. It is based on cartographer's mind, like marketer's projection, Lambert's conical projection, Molloy's projection, etc. etc. So, 